Hello, welcome to the demo of Deliver and Secure GraphQL APIs with FI and GenX. Let's start with what is GraphQL and why does it need security? GraphQL is a contemporary method for constructing and retrieving APIs that simplifies handling multiple requests. It's a lightweight and efficient option, particularly for those who want to create their own server or need to make many API requests. However, like other APIs, GraphQL is vulnerable to attacks that could compromise sensitive data. That's why it is crucial to prioritize security measures when using GraphQL. In this demo, we will learn how to create a GraphQL server and secure it using FI Nginx. To begin, we will review the setup plan. Our demo will involve using Nginx Plus as service proxy and creating an Apollo GraphQL server with Nginx unit. To protect the security of the GraphQL API, we will employ Nginx App Protect WAF and Nginx Management Suite Security Monitoring Module. This will enable us to keep track of data from the Nginx App Protect WAF instance and detect possible security risk through security dashboards. Furthermore, we can modify policies as needed based on the data gathered from these dashboards. Before anything else, the first step is to install Nginx unit on your operating system and next install the Apollo GraphQL server. For more information how to install Nginx unit and Apollo GraphQL server visit this GitHub page provided in the description below. For more information on uh, Nginx unit visit unit.nginx.org. I have already installed Nginx unit and Apollo GraphQL server in, in this instance. Now let's go over all the files you need in order to run the Apollo GraphQL server. So let's start with the JavaScript, uh, the application JavaScript, which is Apollo.js file in this case. So this is a simple Allo World application. Uh, and this application will be running on the port 4003. The next important configuration file you need is the express configuration for unit which is uh, this one so in this demo we will be using express as our framework uh, if you want to use a different framework you can um, choose that for more information the support on supported frameworks visit unit.nginx.org and finally your package.json file should look like this next Step is to install Nginx Plus and Nginx App Protect WAF in front of the GraphQL server. This will protect, uh, provide protection to the Apollo GraphQL server from potential attacks. So in this instance, I've already uh, installed the Nginx Plus and uh, Nginx App Protect WAF. So inside this directory, we have to create a policy file. So I already created a policy file, which I'll show in a minute, which is GraphQL policy.json file. So this is a simple GraphQL policy. For more information on how to create a policy and the declarity policies, please visit docs.nginx.com. So we should reference this policy file in the Nginx configuration. So now let's go to the Nginx configuration. The GraphQL server uses a single URL endpoint, typically slash GraphQL, to identify web resources. So therefore, all requests for a GraphQL server should be directed for this endpoint. So here, uh, under slash GraphQL location, I have uh, referenced this policy file. Uh, and also, if you see under the server configuration, I have uh, added this locking capability feature. And if you want to see uh, what type of attacks and if you want to see more information on the, uh, on the log for this app protect policy, you can go to this log file and see there. But due to more vast amount of information, uh, it will be overwhelming for you to look at uh, all the information inside this log. Uh, for this, you can utilize security monitoring module to identify any threats or attacks. So the next step is to install the Nginx management suite and the security monitoring module. 
visit this uh, page docs.nginx.com slash nginx management suite uh, to for more information on how to install nginx management suite and the security monitoring module for this demo i have already installed the nginx monitoring uh, module and a, a link to this instance as well so i will go inside the security monitoring module in a moment before that let's start the apollo graphical server to start the apollo graphical server you need to run this command which is which is this one After a successful update, your the app should be listening on the IP address on the port 4003. You should receive this message one if it is successful. So now the application is listening on that port. So now let's go to the postman and uh, run this query. I'm going to run this hello query and see if we get a response. You can see that we got a response saying hello world, it is great. Now let's go to the security monitoring dashboard. So this gives you an overview of what's happening in the past six hours. You can always customize that uh, for the last up to last 30 days. Also, if you have time range or specific, you can always add it here and you can easily monitoring uh, or look at the data for that particular time period. So here you can find a lot of information on uh, uh, on the web attacks happened from where it is happening the top attack ip address the top signatures the top violations attack uris the severity of the attacks the response code the request methods if you want more information about the logs go to this event logs here and here let's refresh for last five minutes and you can see that there's a alert and uh, let's see what's alert is this alert which we did like the query for hello uh it's been it's not blocked which is good and all the information from which source ip address it got originated and the destination and what type of in instance it is and all other information now let's go back to the postman and let's do uh, another uh, malinformed query which is a sql injection query and see if the app protect waf uh, blocks it or not and you can see here that it is the url has been rejected and it says please consult with your administrator and it generated a support id so app protect waf uh, blocked this SQL injection um, and it created a support ID so you can go let's go back to the instance here and let's go to this log file and see more information about that attack see as I said earlier this log file has a lot of information it is not easier to identify or what type of attack it was uh, all this uh, information is very difficult to find so that's why uh, the best uh, case is that we can go to the security monitoring module in nginx management suite and the dashboard you can easily find all the information there so let's go back to the security monitoring module let's go to the event logs let's refresh this page let's take a couple of minutes to come here i can see that we have a blocked e-log which says that this query which is the sql injection query was blocked and um, more about the signature here it's sql injection signature and um, the any cvs the bot details and same similar like source of from where it got originated and the destination and other details as well all this can be seen here in security dashboard and based on this information if you're not happy with the uh, app protect policy which you have you can always go back to the um, the instance and modify the policy and come back here and check if the policy has blocked all the uh, queries you like 
so this uh, concludes our demo i hope you liked it and thank you